Hello, and welcome back to the Efficient Skillet. My name is Willie, and I hope that you're doing extremely well out there. Today we're going to make big, delicious quesadillas. Okay, so uh, when it comes to uh, quesadillas, uh, there's different ways to make it. Uh, some people, you know, uh, I, I like them any way I can get them. You could probably put recycled hamburger patties on them and I like them. But anyway, uh, you can make beef ones with, like with fajita quesadillas or ground beef. You probably do pork. Um, but as with me, always uh, chicken is my favorite of all the meats out there. Not only is chicken my favorite, but it's also highly affordable. So what we're going to do here is some chicken. Uh, I got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and we're going to make these uh, chicken quesadillas. And first, I'm just kind of trimming all the fat off of it first because, hey, you know, why eat fat? Fat's not good for you. So I've got uh, two, uh, one, one and a half large chicken breasts here. I've showed you all this before in other videos, but the, for me, the, the quickest way to dice these chicken breasts is to do it like this. Then turn it all side the other direction like this. And then just make nice thin little slices. This, right, this is the chicken, obviously, that's going to uh, go inside our quesadillas. Once you get your uh, chicken all chopped up and diced and everything into little pieces, uh, take you a, a small amount of canola oil, about that much. I got my skillet put on 300 degrees. There we go. And we're just going to dump this uh, diced chicken into here. Next, we're going to take a pack of this McCormick chicken taco seasoning. I get this at HEB in Livingston. And what we're going to do is just, you're just going to open it up. As always, uh, I'm a man, so I don't follow directions on the back of things, like on the back of this. So you just open the package and you just sprinkle it on like this. And this really works good, which just shows that my theory of not following directions is correct. Like the pineapple upside down cake. Remember how good that turned out? And I didn't follow the directions on that. I just threw the box away and looked at the picture. Anyway, dump your taco season on there and start stirring this around. Take three quarter inch pieces of a large yellow one and then dice them. My wife Angel got me this nice bamboo uh, cutting board. My other one was showing a lot of wear and tear, so uh, Angel, as always, takes care of me. And uh, this is a really nice cutting board. It's made of bamboo, so it's bamboo's real tough, durable stuff. Anyway, thank you, Angel. She probably won't even watch my video, but oh well. So far, I think I've got all of two people watching me. Dump in the onions. Next, I've got a, a half of a green pepper, bell pepper and half of a red bell pepper. And this adds, uh, these bell peppers not only add some nice flavor, but since these are um, quesadillas, we want them to be colorful and festive. We want them to be big, delicious, crispy, colorful, flavorful, festive, good time quesadillas. Margaritaville, baby. Anyway, Dice them. Now that we've got our uh, onions and red and green bell pepper all chopped up and dumped in there, you just stir it around. Man, I mean, if y'all could just smell the inside of this house right now, how, how this just smells so good. If you'll notice by looking at it, you'll see the, uh, the red and the green and the, the, uh, the delicious browning of the chicken and all that stuff and I mean man you, whew, seriously if you had margaritas right now while you're doing this you're in for a really fun time I didn't say that now what I'm gonna do to make sure that these bell peppers and stuff uh, 
softened up pretty good. We're going to put the lid on this and we're going to let it go for about five minutes. It's at a nice low temperature. In fact, it's at almost 300. I'm going to drop it to about 250. Let those uh, bell peppers soften up a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> it's been about five minutes now, so we're going to yank the top off of here. Uh, here's our quesadilla filling. Fill now, one thing I want to point out is um, people have different tastes. Some people like more salt, some people like less salt. Some people like more seasoning, some less seasoning. So at this point right here, what I recommend doing while it's all hot and cooking in the pan is take it just a small sample and then sample it. See if you like it. Now, if you like it, perfect. If you like it but you think it needs a little bit more seasoning, you might want to take another pack of the chicken taco seasoning and just put a little bit more on there. You want it to have a little more seasoning on it. Stir it around. It's up to you because nothing's, nothing's down to a science for everybody because everybody has different ways they like stuff. Like I said, some people like more salt, some people less, some people like uh, jalapenos. I love jalapenos and habaneros and Carolina Reapers. And my wife doesn't even like Louisiana hot so sauce, which isn't even hot. So. Anyway, get it to the, to the flavor that you like it best. That, that's perfect for me right there. So what we're going to do is uh, take our quesadilla filling and set it aside. Okay, with our quesadilla filling set aside, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to leave the pan just like that. Then we're going to put a little bit of, once again, canola oil in there, about that much. Spread it around. That, that stuff on the bottom that you see there that's kind of scorched to the bottom of the pan there, that makes really good flavor. So, And I said these were going to be big quesadillas. I went and got these at HEB. These are a 10 inch. Well, let me make sure of that. Yeah, but they're real big. They're called a burrito grandes. Anyway, they're flour tortillas. You can get them at HEB. Anyway, take one of these flour tortillas out and lay it in your pan. And then what you want to do is take your quesadilla filling and what you want to do is cover just half of it like this. you want to put on Monterey Jack cheese pretty generously too about like that we're gonna let this cook for a couple of minutes like this okay after about three or four minutes like this we're gonna take this one side and oh, boy it's hot fold it over like this see how good that looks it's got nice flavor to it too really really good flavor now there's two different ways to make these quesadillas when it comes to this part of it. Some people like to lay a whole, the whole tortilla in there like I just did, cover the whole thing, then set another one on top of it. I like to do it like this because it makes it easier. There's a couple of advantages to it. One of them is when you want to turn it over and you don't want everything falling out, you got this one side right here where everything is held in. You just flip it like this. See, and you got this nice crispy side here. Everything's cooking in here real, real nicely. If you could just, I hate to say it again, but man, if you could just smell this in here, it smells so good. Okay, it's been about another minute now, so we're ready to pull this one off. Now at this point, it just looks like a big old taco. But uh, these things are, they're so crispy and tender and just absolutely flipping delicious. Uh, it's real easy to cut these in two, and what I, you could use a knife, that's real easy. I just take the, uh, the flipper, I call this a flipper. I just take the flipper and just go like that with the flipper and cut it in half, and there you go, there's, well, sorry, there we go. There's, there's two big quesadillas. Now one big advantage of making them like this with the folded edge is you, ha you have a nice when you pick them up, uh, there won't be any drippies or anything because it, you got the folded edge, so that's really cool. Anyway, so there you go. There's two big quesadillas right there. We're going to make another one. So once again, 
you throw in your tortilla, large tortilla. Take your quesadilla filling, put in one side of it. Put in a generous amount of Monterey Jack cheese. Remember, you know, obviously quesadillas are Mexican food, so you gotta use Monterey Jack cheese. It's perfect for this. Be generous with it. These are quesadillas. They're, quesadillas are pure indulgence. Fold up one side. Press it down just a little bit to keep it all pressed like that. See how it has a nice... These things are crispy. You want your quesadillas to be crispy. Crispy is just the way you want quesadillas to be. Anyway, flip it over. There we go. Press it a little more. Let it cook a little more. Get all that cheese and stuff in there melted. All right, once again, pull your quesadilla, your taco. Quesadilla, it'll be a quesadilla after I cut it in half. Cut it in two. And these, like I said, uh, these are very large quesadillas. I mean, look at the size of these things. They're, they're just big because I use big flour tortillas to make them. Now, at the, after you've done a couple of these, you might want to put you a little more oil in there. Oil is... Uh, conducive to making a crispy quesadilla. So you gotta have some of that nice, I like to use canola oil because it's not as unhealthy as say vegetable oil or something. Anyway, let's put another one in there. Put your stuff over here on one side. Generous amount of Monterey Jack cheese, and I mean generously. Fold. Ouch. Fold and flip. Got a little cheese sticking over here. Here we go. All right, looking good. Nice. You want them to be round like that because that's how they that's how they get crispy when you see them like that they're going to be crispy lift it out cut it in half Now this last one, I didn't cut it, I wanted to save it because we always do our little cutaway thing. So uh, I'm gonna cut it right now. We'll get a nice close up of what it looks like inside of here. There we go. And there we go. Ooh, wow. Oh my goodness. Man. That is crispy. It's got the nice chico, chicken taco seasoning in it. The bell peppers, the onions, lots of cheese. The flavor's perfect. They're absolutely delicious. Now, you see, you, I showed you how to make them. You can have a big party at your house and uh, and just stand there and just entertain guests while you're talking to them making these things and if you're making a big old pan of these you're making your friends happy um, 
or if you have a, a someone say y'all come over to watch a football game on TV or something on television, you can put that on the coffee table and they'll devour them and then you just make another one and put it on there. Anyway, I hope you try it and I hope you like it. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button and you can email us, efficientskillet at gmail.com. Now I know, I know, I know, some of you were thinking, Willie, that pen's very burned and going to be hard to wash. No, it's not. You just put some soap in there, some Dawn or whatever dishwashing liquid you use. Put some, fill it with cold water and dishwashing liquid and just let it set there for an hour or two and that stuff wipes off like nothing. So, just saying. <laughs>